गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द क्वेरी सेक्शन ऑफ द एल एफ सी पॉडकास्ट वी हैव अदर गेस्ट पैनल मेंबर्स बिजी टूडे सो इट्स जस्ट मी एंड मीत राइट नाउ फॉर सम टू डिस्कस सम क्विक क्वेरीज we we got a uh, pretty less queries so this should be a pretty uh, a quick episode so here are the queries first uh, is from myself uh, should we have two city defenders in the team now uh i would say at least have one i think ruben diaz is the best bet okay but uh, now city has difficult fixtures lined up yeah so i would say instead of having two at least you should keep one city defender and uh, maybe have elsewhere uh, defender for example if you say you don't have lester defender then you should have him because james justin is the highest on defender yes so by chance if justin scores or even assist or even keeps a clean sheet uh, the average would jump up very high okay so i think if you don't have james justin you should have him yeah. uh irrelevant of the fixtures because he is high stone and he is uh, very cheap uh, who and uh, who out of diaz or stones is cheaper or regardless of price we should have diaz regardless of price you should have diaz because he has played every premier league game until now okay and pep guardiola pretty much pretty much admitted in uh, and pep guardiola pretty much yeah admitted in press conference that uh, diaz is undroppable true i think the only so, only place where john stones is a little bit ahead of ruben diaz is john stones has a little goal threat in him compared to ruben diaz but actually actually ruben diaz also has a goal shot but somehow it hasn't clicked in premier league true otherwise uh, for international matches and uh, he, before he was in uh, i guess benfica as well he had a good scoring record okay so i i don't know maybe there 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 is problem with the delivery or maybe the target man is different in city yeah okay. but uh, even ruben diaz has a good aerial threat somehow it has not happened yet all right should we move to question 2 which comes from I krishna guess. it hmm. is uh, is medicine a must have in your team uh i would say you should have at least one either medicine or bans yes uh, i have tried for bans but uh, considering the last match i think medicine is a better choice because bans is the type of player that is only involved when he scores goals but yeah, okay. from the assist point of view madison is more stable return because he can assist and score as well while bans is the more of a out and out scorer yeah so i think i think i think uh, in earlier podcast i said that uh, bans is better option than madison but i am changing my opinion now because uh, over the last few weeks i have seen madison is at least involved in involved in goals if not he is scoring yes and what what is your opinion on having grealish or james madison because both of them are very similar what i observed in grealish is uh, if you look at if you will look at the pattern he has given return every three fixtures okay so he is averaging good points but uh, there are other players who are giving higher return okay so if you want stable return grealish is the option he has average of giving uh, return every 3 weeks which is not bad in fpl yes he, which is not bad so okay. grealish is a stable option you can have him but if you want to have more return then i guess uh, during the current run madison is more better option okay but uh, grillish will eventually give points that's not a because he is the main man in aston villa side so yes so uh, uh, the third <coughs> question comes from smith he says uh, should i keep firmino no yeah i i because i don't uh, <coughs> 
Leopold form is uh, not consistent and in absence of uh, Mane. Yeah. And uh, so I think uh, Firmino, uh, it, there are better options than Firmino, I would say. Because I was thinking that uh, you shouldn't be having Firmino in the first place because there are more, better options. I think the fourth question shows us the options which Firmino should, uh, which you should keep yeah. in mind while replacing Firmino. Yeah. They are uh, Calvert Lewin, Antonio, Bamford, and Watkins. Yes. So actually, Firmino return is not value for money. So if you are spending nine million around exactly. nine million, Firmino's return does not replicate that. Yeah. I think the continuation of that is uh, the question from Raka, who says that uh, he has. He wants to pick two strikers out of uh, Calvert Lewin, Antonio Bamford, and Watkins. Who should he go for, that, regardless of price? I think uh, he should have at least Bamford. He, he should not be moved out. He's given stable returns whole season. Bamford is shown so, as seventy-five percent chance of playing this week. Okay, then I will have to check for it. But uh, even if he is out for one week, I don't think you should uh, take him out. Okay. Because uh, he's on 11 goals and 6 assists. Yeah. And for 6 million, you don't get much better than that. Yeah. So, okay. I would uh, keep Bamford irrelevant if, he, if he's even out for one fixture. So, let's so, say from the two slots, Bamford is the one who is fixed. So, who other than him, uh, who apart from him, like Calvert, yeah. Antonio or Oli Watkins? See, if you, if you have Suchek, right? Yes. Then I don't think you should have Antonio. Then you should have Lewin. But if you don't have either Suchek or uh, if you don't have Suchek, then I think you can have Antonio. Okay. But okay. Uh, I would say if you have Suchek, go for Lewin because Lewin still has two or three good fixtures. Okay. And he's a he's and back scoring as well. He just scored and I, leads. And and I don't trust Watkins much. I would rather have Callum Wilson as a okay. Uh, so so based on your answer, thing, yeah. So he, based on your yeah. answers, I guess the hmm. uh, hierarchy would be priorities would be first will be Bamford. Yes. Then Calvert Lewin. Yes. Antonio. Yes. Watkins and oh Wilson and Watkins. Yes. Okay. And uh, I would say that if you have Suchak, then have Lewin. If you don't have Suchak, then uh, you can have uh, Antonio. Okay. And apart from that, because what if someone has Grealish? So, but regardless, you don't like Watkins anyway. So, regardless of you have Grealish or not, Watkins shouldn't be in your team. Yes, because uh, he is re- his return has not been consistent. All right, compared to the others. Yes, makes sense. Because in the absence of Harry Kane, I am sure this question would come up in many people's mind. I because... think uh, Harry Kane is expected to be back next week. Okay, so, so if you ha- if you uh, so uh, if you still have Harry Kane in your side, it's uh, you should not uh, transfer him out, right? I think if you had to transfer him out, it should have been last week only. But uh, now, since you have kept him, I think after West Brom, he should be back. Okay. So, uh, I guess the last question for this episode is the ideal captain for the week, which is a very tough choice this time. So, who are you going for? I am probably going to go with Salah or Son. Okay. So, you Uh, expect Salah to play well against City? Yes, I expect Salah to play well. See, the issue is not the form of Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah always scores, provided yeah. you give him enough service and create enough space for him. Yeah. Uh, where we have struggled is the team like Brighton, uh, West Brom, and yeah. Southampton. Yeah. These all teams are sitting deep in their half. And uh, we are unable to break them and create space. Yes. 
that won't be the case against city because city would be attacking as well so they will leave yes. gaps behind although although city have a very good defensive record yeah i think uh, sala should be involved if liverpool scores okay but before deciding the captain uh, whether i to pick sala or not i would wait on the injury news whether mane is playing or not okay so okay. if mane is also playing i would be tempted to keep sala as captain okay but if mane is not playing i would either go for son or yeah he's playing as bro or either i would pick bruno because bruno plays against everton everton are not that great defensively yeah and you can always so, expect him to get a goal from penalties because that's his record yeah. anyway that's the free gifts that united defend apparently keep receiving. yes so so i would say my priority would be sala then son then bruno yeah okay makes sense so okay sala son and bruno right yes yes okay. yes okay i think the first question which i asked uh, of keeping two cities de- two, two city defenders in this week wouldn't make sense because they are playing liverpool away from home uh i guess from this week onwards if you look at it uh, city have spurs next everton <coughs> next then arsenal then okay. west ham then united so until saturday march 6 game week i think uh, city double up is avoidable all right just keep one and forget about it i guess yes so i think that's it for this week uh, do you have any final thoughts before we wrap things up uh, my final thoughts uh, i would say that uh, don't uh, make too many transfers if your uh, game mix score is not that good because there are only already too many players missing okay so keep faith in what you have and if i if you want to have a good score just think about making the next transfer as the right transfer okay. according to the fixtures eventually in 3 to 4 weeks your team will all, all already be good one so don't think that i want to make 3 4 transfers and then my team is settled it okay. doesn't work that way makes sense so i guess that is it for from our side this week we'll be back next week with another prediction and fpl queries videos so if you have, if you still have any queries please leave them in the comment section we'll be we'll be using them in the next episode uh, for you guys so that's it for my side uh, have a great day thank you very much thank you everyone